shook it up. Good morning, lovely people. I'm not naked. I have a towel on. It is 8.30 on the 23rd of February. It is a Saturday. It is a rest day for me. So Lex and I are going out for breakfast. So I'm up. I'm clearly just out of the shower. Today I weighed in at 125 pounds. As you remember last week, I was over 127 pounds, which is the heaviest I've been in over five years. So I knew this week when I got back to my macros, back to training, back to incorporating cardio into my day, that I would drop some weight. So my lowest weigh in for the past two days had been 124.6. Last night I had a couple of glasses of vino and my weight is up, which is completely normal because alcohol can affect water retention and things. So this week I have done two cardio sessions of 200 calories each. I am aiming to do three. So I'm aiming to burn 600 calories of steady state cardio this week. My macros have been consistent all week just because I want to get them back on track. So I've had a week of consistent macros, but today I'm gonna have a higher intake day. Lex is taking me out for brunch because I make him all his meals. So he treats me to a breakfast or a brunch or a meal out once a week as a nice little payment for my efforts. So we're gonna have a nice day. It's been really sunny and mild here in the UK. So Lex will probably go on his motorbike for a little tootle round and we will meet and have a really nice breakfast. But I'm gonna just take you through my day, make this face a little bit prettier and I will do a physique update. And then following my physique update, I'm going to throw in some footage from training from this week just to show you what I have been doing. The first piece of footage is some upper body exercise which incorporates timed training. What I did here was I concentrated on the negative of the exercise. You will see when the muscle is flexed I take one count for that and then three counts for the negative. So I've incorporated four different exercises for biceps and triceps here just to show you. It's a great method of training especially if you feel like you've lost that mind to muscle connection with your exercise and that you're just going through the motions. So you do this as normal, your normal training and just really concentrate on the negative of the exercise and think about your breathing as well throughout the exercises. The next set of training is a lower body training set that I did yesterday with some kettlebells. Training with kettlebells is something that I started doing a little bit more recently. I really enjoy it and it's something that you could actually buy and have at home to do some training at home if you felt you couldn't get to the gym. You can easily pick them up on Amazon. And these exercises are pretty much glute hamstring focused. I felt over the past few months that even though I've been going into the gym and training, I haven't been putting in the effort that I used to put in in the beginning. And that's completely normal that sometimes your enthusiasm towards the gym will kind of dwindle off over time. And that's when it's good to like either change up your training method, what you're doing, what body parts you're training on each day, things like that. Simple things are changing up the volume of training, maybe look at a new goal goal with your training towards maybe strength or power but for me I just wanted to get that ferocity back that I used to have where it was just my passion for getting through my workout overwhelmed every other feeling that I had in my body. This week I've been really focusing on pushing through when I felt like I wanted to give up or when I felt like I just wanted to go home and I've really found the difference this week. I ache all over which is always a good sign and I've just been putting in those extra few minutes those extra few reps in the gym and it really does make me push through so if you find that you leave the gym and you're like yeah it was okay maybe it's time to step it up a gear and just push through those extra few reps where you just want to stop push through the feeling that you want to go home and do a few extra exercises yesterday I felt like my my training was done I did my leg exercise I was about to go home when I was like no I've got an extra 10 minutes let's go Go do some core so I went and did some core exercises and I just felt like yes I hit that extra bit that I needed to this week I have already trained four times now that is my goal every week I set myself the attainable goal of training four days a week if I get a fifth workout in which I will tomorrow that is an added bonus and that's what you should be doing with your training set yourself attainable goals if you know you can feasibly only do two workouts a week but you end up getting in four because you had a babysitter or you had just some spare time that you felt like you wanted to go to the gym 
that is a bonus. So set yourself those attainable goals. Now I'm gonna go and make this look pretty. While I do that, you can check out my workout. Stop trying to hide. YouTube needs to see the real you. <sighs> He's like a big bear. Every morning starts the same with these two little noodles having their breakfast. And we've got some collagen coffee. This is the collagen I'm using right now. I was using a different one previously but it, came, it ran out of stock or something on Amazon, so I just got this one. It doesn't really matter which one you use, but this is the collagen protein powder, and it's just 10 grams in my coffee, which is good for hair, nails, cell rejuvenation. As you can see, I'm a little bit more put together, wearing a little dress, and I'm going to have my collagen coffee, 
and one of these which is one of my protein brownies they're not up on my cooking channel yet but i will record them once i have perfected them they're so close i like to microwave them a little bit once i'm finished this i'm going to take the dogs out for a poop in a field and then me and Lex are going to go get breakfast in from walking the dogs and a package was on the doorstep when i got back from Layla Boutique. I adore their leggings and just all their clothes. They're based in LA. They do really funky leggings that I feel are kind of like, you can wear them in the gym, but you could also wear them for coffee, which is what I do. And they're just kind of funky. Let's see, they have the kind of rib effect. Oh, I'm so excited, new colors. These are my favorite ones. These are the three new Dunes colors. Loving them. These will definitely get worn because these are like dark colours and I like wearing the darker colours on my legs. And we have a pair of the Juno in the charcoal colour, which I really like as well. I have these in like a green colour and I love them. Oh, I'm so excited. And she also threw in one of their cute little tees, which I'll probably crop up to wear with this. I love this. an opportunity to work with different brands and especially smaller brands like Leila Boutique. And they just have a really nice attitude, a really nice community of people wearing their clothes. I'll link them down below. Check them out. So we have landed in Shrewsbury for breakfast and the first place we went to was the Bird's Nest, which is where was my preference for breakfast. But once again, I miscalculated what time they finished breakfast at, which I thought was 11.30, which is a reasonable time, but they finish at 11. So we are in the House of the Rising Sun, which does the brunch until 12. Lex rode in on his bike and we are currently having some flat white coffees which look amazing. I haven't even tasted it yet. I've just ordered some poached eggs with bacon and mushrooms because my love of mushrooms knows no bounds. <laughs> Breakfast has arrived. No mushrooms for you, Lex? No, because they're vile, venomous, venomous, things. <laughs> to a new coffee location. Check this place out. If you are above about five foot seven, probably won't fit in. You feel slightly like a giant. It does make you a little bit like Willy Wonka. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a skinny flat white which is tilted that way because the floor is kind of literally going down that way. Lex has treated himself to a scone and a mocha. Manly. <laughs> when you get sidetracked by a hanging chair. How comfy is it? Jenny, you're really my zen. Get out of my space, man. I really want one. Yeah. Does anyone else have one that they could recommend that they last long? Because obviously it's for outdoors. It's like surprisingly relaxing. I want one for our garden now. We are in from our little morning trip into Shrewsbury and I'm on another coffee because, you know, three is a charm. I have some coconut milk in it. I feel like I'm getting a little bit sensitive to dairy as I, when I was out, I had two coffees that had dairy in them and it kind of made my stomach a bit crampy. I'm just gonna turn off the TV because I have Gilmore Girls running again for probably about the 10th time. So since I've been in, I've had a coffee, I've had a jammy dodger, I've had some of the brave snacks which are these and these are the sweet ones so i've had a pack of them and i've had what else did i have and a square of chocolate so getting through my food because it is a refeed day so that's extra fats extra carbs in my belly hi bills so continuing with my higher intake day we've got some corn cakes with some peanut butter and jam because that's what I'm craving and I tend to use my reward days or my higher intake days just to kind of quench any cravings that I have. So it is 
30 p.m. and I'm just about to go and take the dogs for a walk but I'm going to throw on some of my turtle compression socks to go walking in because number one they're good for reducing the leg ache if you want to see all the benefits for compression socks go check out my last video I did a full piece on it but my legs are aching a bit from walking around and I'm about to wear wellies in a field so I'm going to throw these on to add extra comfort to my walk. I have a link to these awesome socks down in the description box below. Rocks. Roxy. Rocks. 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 You've taught her to be disobedient. Roxy. You trained her to do that. Oh, Roxy, you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm not ashamed of nothing. That smells dis. Disgusting. You do nothing. Stop trying to avoid the camera, you stinky, stinky bum. Can't make me do nothing. You smell my smell. Why? Don't give no fucks. Stop ignoring me. Shut your face. Give me a biscuit. <laughs> You're so bold. I'm one fart away from shitting on the driveway. So bold. Do you want to poop? Or do you want to leave me alone? Oh, you're disgusting. Oh, shit on your bed. Ailey? <laughs> Why are you disturbing me? Uh, are you going to give me belly rub? <laughs> the be belly rub? Somebody say my name? Only say my name if there is a belly rub. You, man. Now rub my belly. I'm not the belly rubber. She disturbed you. Somebody better rub my belly or I will do a tutti putti in your face. In your face. Tutti putti. In your face. So we are out for our evening meal on a Saturday evening adventure then. Because I forgot to take meat out of the freezer. I hope everybody's appreciating this. <laughs> that was my present to Alexa Christmas, one of those. We're here at Dolan Oil in Shrewsbury, so it's like a pizza place. It's really funky. And we tried to go somewhere else, but it was already booked up. So even though my feet are blistered from my Doc Martens, and Lex is literally Googling how to get rid of blisters from Doc Martens. But we've got a starter. This is like a little deli starter board, which is a lot bigger than we expected. Yeah. I think you might know, make your own little like, sandwiches. Yeah. Chicken curry. He has a chicken curry pizza. And mine is um, some kind of pepperoni, but it looks amazing. It smells amazing. Yeah. My brain can't fathom that out. I love pizza, yes! <laughs>